So this is via My Time to Shine Hello, who says, Source has confirmed that this Sam... Is your new, this is your current favourite. This is what's coming up. Yeah. He's, he's doing... Who he, she, yeah. they, I don't know who this is. <laughs> it's doing some big scoops. Your favourite rat. That's right. Confirmed that Sam Raimi is Marvel's top choice to direct Secret Wars. Now, I think mm-hmm. that's great. Yeah. I mean, look at the Spider-Man movies he made. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of people don't think this, but I think... His Doctor Strange movie is really good. I think so too. He's, it's a lot of fun, and it's uh-huh. and it's fun because that and it's not all him because there's the other things you have to do, but there is a lot of him in it, mm. and you don't often get that. That's true. In you know comic book movies or blockbusters in general, mm-hmm. like you see it, he's got a there's a moment where he's got like a cape of ghouls. You That's know? true. Yeah. There's just yeah. there's good there's good stuff in that movie. I, I, I think it's probably the strongest movie that there has been in this new. Whatever phase we're in currently. Slate, whatever mm. we're in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, in my opinion. Ooh. In this humble critic's opinion. Wow, you mean, you mean Commode and Mayo's opinion? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's been exactly six months, James. <laughs> what do you think, though? I think that's a pretty good choice, yeah. He could do a weird thing as well, you know? Yeah. Mm. He'll do, you know, like Secret Wars is kind of can be weird and like mm. twisted and broken and multidimensional and whatever. And yeah. also who else they got, you know what I mean? Exactly. Who else is left? No who isn't exhausted? <laughs> <laughs> well, haven't they burnt out? Yeah, because you need someone who isn't burnt out. But so yeah, because there's like a and I'm trying to think like there's a very specific kind of director you need. Mm-hmm. And you can't go too young because yeah. then you'll just walk all over them and then it's nothing. Yeah, and but a lot of veteran directors don't want to do it because of what they are. Yeah, mm-hmm. so Sam Raimi's like a really. He's one of the few that you could go to, and he could probably do a good job. Yeah, yeah. And I always, I also think that he, pro- you know, he he probably has had that lifelong passion for making that sort of thing. Yeah. And and you know, he did. Obviously, he he couldn't get a superhero movie in you know back in the day, so he made Dark Man, yeah. which was sort of his audition for the Spider Man movies. And then he made the ones that are you know generally very well received. He got burnt by Spider Man Three, and but mm. now I think he's probably like he's he's someone who probably still wants to make that sort of stuff but he wants to do it on his own terms. Yes. And he's got enough Hollywood juice. Yeah. Um, a term we've invented, Toilet I think. water. Toilet water. That he can probably be like, I'm only in if you let me do yeah. a certain amount. And I'm sure even during... A ghoul the, cape. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure during the process, they're constantly pushing back. Definitely. Well, and but, like, well, this person has to be in it because they got a glove in the previous movie or whatever, you know. Hmm. Or this person has to look like this because they're right. Captain America now or whatever, you know. Sure. Whatever. But yeah. <laughs> You know, whatever. Yeah, all the but stuff. he would have had to do that with like Spider Man and everything else, you mm. know, that he's made that's a property. Mm. You know? There you go. All right. This is why the Nerd Rage podcast, here are the potential titles for the What If series, which is maybe coming out this year. I don't Great, know. Great, I love this. First one is What If Gamora Killed Thanos? Ooh. When though? Right at the end? About the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming when she stabbed him in nowhere, but she actually got him. Oh, sure. I don't know that. Or maybe when she was a kid. Maybe when she was a kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what if Captain Carter finds Hydra Stomper? Now that's continued from that's season a, see, one. See, that's the that's where it immediately lost me. These times. Yeah. What if Captain Car- Carter found Hydra Stomper? Mm. I don't know, man. Pretty wild. The, you mean the little robot thing that, that Steve Rogers? I mean, I'm assuming he's still in it. Yeah, sure. Okay. It's the Winter Soldier, basically. They're doing the Winter Soldier, but oh, Steve Rogers is is the Winter Soldier. I guess. Okay, right. I don't. I don't know okay. though. Yeah. Uh, what if the Tesseract landed in? I'm gonna. Butcher this. Uh, Hoden, Hodenoshone. So that is, yeah. the, that is the Native American yes. uh, episode, which is going to have a new superhero. Yes. Uh, Kahori mm. is the name. Yeah. So that's going to, yeah. So instead of landing in a Norwegian village or whatever it yeah, went, yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it goes to here. Yeah. Uh, what if Hank Pym and Janet Van Dyne fought the Red Guardian during the 80s? Great, Great. title. Great title. <laughs> <laughs> really spells it out. Give us something, but really, really. <laughs> Also, like... Really I, spoil everything there. I feel like that... I don't know. Maybe they'd win or he'd win or they'd be a star, <laughs> mate, or they'd team up. I don't know. Don't you think... Maybe also, it did happen in exactly the regular Marvel say, maybe universe. It did happen. I don't know. Yeah. Because they were all around then. It should just start with a black screen title card that says, to be clear, this didn't happen in the regular Marvel <laughs> universe. Could have, but it didn't. You might look at this and be like, is this just a regular... Is this the thing that happened? No, it didn't. It didn't. This is We're saying, what if it did? What if it did, though? What if it did, though, yeah. Have you seen that deleted scene where it's... I think it's from Ant Man and the Wasp, so the second one. Yeah, and it's Hank Pym and Janet Van Dyne, and they're in like Colombia, and there's like a no. It's pretty good. Is it? What are they, when they're on young, Twitter. yeah, when they're young, they're de aged. It's a whole scene. Are they de? Are they actually de aged yeah. for it? Yeah, they've I've like probably finished seen it. It, but... it must be on the Blu-ray or something, mm. but I have only seen it on the on the Twitters. Do I have to buy the Blu-ray? No, you can find it on the Twitter. I'm rushing out now, Mason. James, no. I'm being reckless. James, no. 
I'm Look, but too, I'm running too fast. Why are you carrying those pairs of scissors? <laughs> Stop it, James! No, <laughs> a responsible, wild, and crazy guy wouldn't do that. <laughs> Here, I've got an instruction manual on being the cool, <laughs> loose cannon, wild and crazy guy. I've got all the guidelines here. What about this one? Read it and answer the quiz. If you get it correctly, <laughs> you'll, you'll be a licensed wild and crazy guy. What if Yondu delivered Star-Lord to Ego? Okay. Did we get that? I feel like that's one we already no, he, got. No, we got T'Challa yes. with Star-Lord and Peter Quill worked at a restaurant or something. Mm. And then and then he turned up. Ego turned up and went, you're my son or whatever. That's a great title, by but the I way. But I guess that's not this continuity. Yeah. What if Happy Hogan saved Christmas? Iron Man 3, apparently related. Okay, so that's... I like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. What if Wanda had grown up watching musicals instead of sitcoms? Oh. So slightly different, I reckon. And when you say grow up, you mean they were trapped in that apartment while yeah. all the bombings were while happening. Yeah, the bombing was happening. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What if Odin and Hela had faced Wenwu, who's... The Mandarin? The Mandarin? Okay, sure. All right. All right, great. If you want. Yeah, sure. I, I suspect it would go like that Red Guardian thing where maybe one wins or the other wins or they team up. Yeah, that would be great, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the last one is what if the Avengers had fought Surtur? Surtur okay. Which Thor did. I yes. mean, they'd win handily, I'd imagine, because he did it by himself. Did he? Surtur, he, he beat him the first time, remember? He, like, trapped him in the... Yeah, but he didn't defeat him, though. Yes, he did. He got his helmet off. He took it off. Yeah. And then they let him out at the end. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay, yeah. you're right. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. But it'd probably go a bit differently than that. I reckon. Anyway. They'd probably beat him or they he beat them. Yeah. Or they'd team up. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, maybe they... To lay waste to the earth. <laughs> maybe these aren't real. I feel yeah. like they are, though. There's some been some images that kind of tie into this okay, stuff and sure. maybe someone extrapolated. Maybe. So, you know, that's fine. Mm. I just a bit of... Maybe t- they saw the... You know what? Maybe they saw some thumbnails. Maybe, maybe they, they did. were preview thumbnails and they went, oh, what if... Captain Carter found Hydra Stomper. Yeah. Because she's looking at the Hydra Stomper in the ice or whatever. She's like, oh. There he is. Oh. There he is. Ooh. Ooh. Are we going to reveal what those tentacles were? Or was that Doctor was it Strange? Was Gormath or was it a Doctor Strange thing? Or was it Ultron? God. With tentacles? I don't want to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, too bad. <laughs> We're in too deep now. We can't quit. You're right. <laughs> it's my THR. Taylor Swift, the ear is to her. Mm-hmm. I wrote ears tour, which it might be, is happening. They mm-hmm. filmed it in August. Speaking of an ears tour, thank you. August. We're going to talk about that later in one piece. Oh, oh yeah, a we are ears too. Tour, isn't there? there is an ears tour. Sources tell the Hollywood Reporter they believe the film could open up to a record one hundred million dollars based on brisk advanced sales tickets. That's just in the US, not, but they're also not ruling out that the movie ultimately grossed would gross one hundred fifty million dollars or more domestically. It's pretty good. So that would bring it in line with like Mario and Barbie for openings. Yeah. I think there could be a chance that this all, like you get all the Taylor Swift fans and it's like a huge opening and then a big drop off maybe. Sure, because everybody um, sees it opening yeah, weekend. But, but maybe know. they come back repeatedly. Yeah, this is not a an audience that I know. That's so I true, don't yeah. Know. Like, yeah. I feel like there were people being like, Barbie's going to burn out straight away. Yeah. And after seeing it, I was like, I don't think so. I'm like, a little bit concerned yeah. that we've made some assumptions about the Swifties and saying them out loud is going to bring their wrath upon us. Like you We're sa- being kind. Like you saying there, well, it'll probably be a drop-off. <laughs> James, no. Don't say that. It'll probably be a roaring success no matter what happens. That's right, forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> yeah. Make a billion dollars a week and she'll never die. God, that is just money for old rope, though. I mean, I know there is a lot to go into <laughs> filming a production yeah. like this, mm-hmm. obviously, but like... But not a billion dollars. No, like, no. You know, it's, yeah. you know. I love it. Yeah, good on him.